NATO foreign ministers are meeting in Brussels over the next two days to discuss new measures of support for Turkey. They'll also debate whether or not to invite Montenegro to become a member. CCTV's Jack Barton reports from Brussels that both moves are likely to stoke tensions between NATO and Russia. NATO is discussing new measures to help defend Turkey's border after the country shot down a Russian warplane. Some NATO countries privately consider Turkey's actions to have been hot-headed, but all again express solidarity and some strong support. Frankly speaking, Turkey reconfirmed credibility of NATO to defend airspace. NATO is considering the deployment of more air defense systems to Turkey, similar to the US-made Patriot batteries already in place, as well as a stronger naval presence in the Mediterranean. Another priority, broader threats in the Middle East and North Africa. The security environment in which we meet today is dark. Terrorist attacks, violent uh, instability, the breach of uh, international uh, rules. These are serious uh, challenges from uh, many different uh, directions. And NATO is responding. The organization is also worried about advanced missile systems Russia has deployed in Syria, capable of downing NATO aircraft. This is part of a pattern where we see that uh, Russia is developing what is called uh, anti-access area denial capabilities. And that is exactly uh, one of the reasons why NATO is adapting. That's the reason why we are, have uh, increased the readiness and the preparedness of our forces. NATO's chief said he hoped to introduce more predictability in NATO's relationship with Russia, which is also angry that the bloc is considering an invitation to Montenegro to become its 29th member. Montenegro was once part of the former Yugoslavia, and Russia still considers it part of its sphere of influence. That's why the Kremlin has warned that any attempt to integrate the country into NATO will be seen as a clear provocation. Afghanistan was also high on Tuesday's agenda. Ministers agreed to keep NATO's 12,000 troops in place until the end of next year, when the organization's commitment to Afghanistan will be reviewed. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.